Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Habib. We are here at the Carnegie Museum of Natural History in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we are standing in the new exhibit, Pterosaurs, Flight in the Age of Dinosaurs. So pterosaurs are famous for having included the largest flying animals in Earth's history. The largest pterosaurs known would include things like Quetzalcoatlus, which is represented in the exhibit here. That animal had a wingspan of about 35 feet and probably weighed more like 550 pounds. Pterosaurs, despite what's often represented in popular media, were not dinosaurs. They also were not birds. Birds are dinosaurs. Pterosaurs were related to dinosaurs. You could refer to them accurately and relatively formally as flying reptiles. Fossils have been found on every continent, including Antarctica. Southern Germany is one of those locations. It's northeastern China. Brazil produces some of the best pterosaur fossils in the world. And the largest pterosaur, uh, no, or at least tied for largest, is from Texas. I hope that visitors to this exhibit get a real feel for the diversity of pterosaurs, that they realize that they actually came in a lot of different sizes and shapes. I do also hope that they really enjoy the flight interactives, where they get to fly like a pterosaur and uh, do a motion capture simulator. It's a very unique setup. Uh, we put a lot of special details into that just for this exhibit uh, related to pterosaurs, so I, I hope they enjoy that.